Good morning church, I hope you're doing well. My name is Julia, I'm part of the Manchester Central Campus. I serve with Audacious Foundation and the youth team, uh, which are both an incredible honour to be a part of. And for today's devotion, we are looking at favourite Bible characters. And one of mine is Queen Esther. Uh, I did my uni dissertation on her and I think she's just an incredible example of what it means to live with a bold and audacious faith. So Esther, she was a Jewish girl who married the king of Persia. So she inherited a position of power and of authority and ultimately was able to use her influence for the greater purposes of God. So if you're familiar with the story at all, you'll know about a guy called Haman. Haman was the king's associate and he made a plan to kill all of the Jews, Esther's people. So this deeply grieved Esther and her uncle Mordecai. But for her to appear before the king without his request could have had lethal consequences for Esther. Um, but despite this challenge, Mordecai reminds Esther of this one possibility. In chapter 4 verse 14 he says this. Who knows, perhaps you have come to your royal position for such a time as this. Now, after a time of prayer and fasting, Esther then goes to make her appeal before the king so that she may save the Jews. And whilst the story is a lot more um, dramatic than I'm making it out to be, what remains evident is this, that despite her circumstances, Esther held tight to her faith. She wasn't bound by fear, but she was courageous despite it. And I aspire to have a faith just like that. You know, I've just finished my final year of uni. Um, my future is very much uncertain. Uh, but just like Esther, I want to trust that my future is completely within the hands of God. That he will provide for my every need, that he is going to protect me there. And that ultimately, in every situation, he goes before me. Now, I don't know what situations you guys are facing. Maybe you need a miracle. Or maybe you're at mountaintop and loving life. Um, but whatever situation you face, church, I want to encourage you with this. Would we step boldly into the positions and circumstances that God has given us? May we walk in confidence that the God who has started a good work in us will bring it to completion. And may we walk boldly knowing that we have been called for such a time as this. Thanks so much for joining me today, church. I hope that has been an encouragement for you today. Um, and yeah, I look forward to seeing you soon. God bless.